What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel once again. So recently I got sent the Lego Neptune 3 FDM printer to test out, unbox, check it out. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get this right opened up and see what's inside. All right, so now that we got it taken out of the box, you can see everything that it comes with. You can see the power supply, the base, uh, the manual, all the tools you're gonna need, the filament holder, the controller, and the power cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all put together. And it says it'll take about 10 minutes, so let's see if that's true. And I'll be right back when that's finished. All right, so I got this all put together, and in fact, it did only take about 10 minutes. Maybe even less than that. It wasn't very hard at all. It was just two screws on each side. I needed two for the power supply and two for the handle up top. And that was it. So it was pretty simple to put together. And then I just had to plug in the Z axis and the limit switch and that was it. It did come in little bags that are labeled so you know which is which, which is nice. The only thing I did have to do was adjust the little knobs underneath because the the bed was a little wobbly, but I took this, tightened it right up. Now it doesn't wobble. So we're all set. All right, so we'll get this turned on and let's start a print. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is this is all the filament they give you. So if you just bought this machine, that's not gonna cut it. You're definitely gonna need to buy a roll I have a roll already kind of laying around, so I'm gonna use this to test, and I'm not even gonna bother using this. So we'll get this turned on, and as you can see, the switch is right here on the bottom. And this does boot up relatively fast. So now that we got that on, it says the first thing to do is to level it. Now, I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it again, but if you want to, all you need to do is go in, hit level, Hit confirm, it'll do it all for you. Then you'll just take a piece of paper, run it under, lower it, higher it until it's just a little friction, and that's it. And there's plenty of videos that cover that if you need more help, but it's pretty straightforward and not hard at all. So now we're gonna load the filament in, so let's get that set up and do that. So as you can see, I got the filament loaded in, pushed all the way down, so now all we have to do Go to load until it starts to come out the bottom. Okay, and you can't see from this angle, but it just started to come out, so we'll go ahead and stop it right there. So since that's loaded in, let's go ahead and do a test print. So I inserted the TF card right into the bottom right here, and we'll go into print, and we'll just do this EN3, the Buddha. Hopefully there's enough filament. I guess we'll find out. So we'll print. And before this starts, I'm sure it'll heat up to 200 degrees or 170 preheat. The bed will be at 60. So we'll give this a minute and let it go and see what happens. So this is printing now, so I'll actually run a time lapse of this so you guys can see it in action. But we'll come back once this has finished printing. All 
All right, so this has finished printing. And the one thing I do like about this is the removable build plate, which makes it very easy to take the piece off. So we could take a look at this. And this looks like it came out really good to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and print one more piece. So let's do that and we'll be right back. All right, so this second print has finished printing. And this was a little bird that I printed out that's actually a whistle. As you can see here, the detail looks really good. Does it make noise? Let's find out. Yep, it actually whistles, so I'll say that's a success. So, yeah, I think that came out really well. Okay, so let's go over a few things that I like and dislike about this machine. First of all, let's go over the, the prints themselves. Now, I think they came out really nice. The prints look really good. The detail came out really nice. Right here, you can see a few little hiccups, but really not a big deal at all. It's overall, it came out good. So there's that. So one of the things I really do like about this machine is that it was very simple to put together. It was only eight screws, two on each side, the power supply, the handle, the filament holder. That's about it. It didn't take long. It took probably less than 10 minutes. And I didn't even need to look at the instruction manual on how to put this together. So to me, that's nice, but I've put 20, 30 of these together before, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, their manual is nice. It's, it does the job. I, I think the, the actual controller could be better and set up differently, but it works. It's just a little confusing compared to a little, compared to a few other ones that I've used, but not a big deal. I mean, There is some spelling errors, as you can see, that's not spelled right, but it is coming from China, so it is what it is. As far as the controller goes, I like that it's removable. However, I think instead of having these little notches to have it lock in place, a magnetic one would have been better to just pop it right on. But. As you can see, it works just fine. The machine is very quiet while it's printing. It's not loud at all. You do hear the movements from the gears and whatnot, but overall, it's really quiet. I do like that it has a removable, whoops, build plate, which is nice and it's magnetic, so it sticks right to it. So definitely a good feature to have. I wish the machine was slightly bigger and had a slightly bigger build volume because I like to print out bigger things and if I'm doing something and I need to slice it into 10 different pieces and then glue it together, it's kind of a hassle. So this is only 220 by 220 by 280. I think it could be bigger, but for the price and for what it is, I think it's a good deal. I do like that it comes with this nifty little handle right here to carry it. It's not heavy at all. As you can see, I can lift it easily with one hand. It probably only weighs about 10 pounds, 15 pounds tops. So it's really not that hard to move. It's really simple. I like that it came with extra nozzles and parts if you need it. The only thing I don't like is that this was all the filament that it came with. So if you do buy this, make sure that you buy an actual roll of filament because that's just not gonna cut it. it. It'll make one small little piece. That, and that's probably about it. I do like how easy it is to fill in the filament. It just pushes in right through the side here and goes through. So it makes it really easy to just 
feed it on in. It does have the option to replace the filament if it runs out. It does have the run out sensor, which is really nice. I do like how the, the little micro SD card here is right in the front, so it's easy to get to, but I still haven't figured out why you always have to put these in upside down. I, I've never understood that on these printers, and it's like with every single one, I always have to put this in upside down, and you would think it would go in that way, but it doesn't. So not a big deal. I wish it included a USB port and maybe some other options to, to be able to put the files in. Otherwise, you have to use this, pop it in every time, and it kind of gets annoying after a while. I also wish this had the, the BL Touch for the leveling system. Now, this was really easy to level. I just turned it on, hit level. It did the 16-point leveling, but I still had to adjust the Z-axis and move it up or down with a piece of paper. And to me, I think just the inclusion of a BL Touch would be quicker it would be a nicer feature to have but for the price point I mean looking at $209 it's really not bad at all it works exactly how it's supposed to it has really good features on it as is but I think there could be some upgrades just to make it that much better it has a little tensioning knob here to tighten it I did have to go in and adjust the knobs on the wheels underneath because this bed was wobbly but even in the manual, it even says that you might have to do that. So at least they give you a warning beforehand. So thanks. So overall, what do I think? For the price point, sure, $200, that's a good deal. I would recommend it. But for anything else, if you're looking for bigger prints, if you're looking for something that just has a little bit more features, I would probably go with something else but for the price yeah this is good it works really well the prints come out nice the removable build plate to me is a huge difference than trying to sit here and scrape something off of it so to me you can't really go wrong i think if i would change anything on this it would be that i wish it would just come with a spool of filament and not a tiny little five meters worth because that's really not printing anything. It's useless, and honestly, I will never use that. It'll probably just get thrown away. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Get notified of all the new videos that come out each week by ringing the bell. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.